a lot of you have asked why I say that. My mom used to say it to me, she still does. So if anything, it's a greetings to her, but it always brought me joy in my morning. We are doing a meals of the day or what I eat in a day. I'm gonna take you along with me throughout the day and show you what we eat in the new year to be healthy for our mind and our body. I'm starting off with some breakfast. I have some sourdough toast with some guacamole that I'm just spreading on. I'm going to top it with some green onions and then I had some of the buffalo chickpea salad from yesterday. So I'm gonna put that on top of it just to use it up. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with salt and pepper and serve it with some fresh fruit. It is now around 11 a.m. and I am just having a quick cabbage salad. So I have some chopped cabbage in here, some carrots, some green onion. I have some kale as well as my homemade hemp ranch. And then I have some more of that guacamole. I just used it from the morning. And the kids are snacking on some mac and cheese. Big shocker there. Um, we have some grapes and some sourdough little toast points that came with a salad kit. Um... The grapes are a new thing for us. I'm always nervous about them. The kids really enjoyed them, so I'm excited, but they still made me nervous. We just got back from Target, and we're just going to throw together some burgers and um, uh, tater tots, and then maybe some little naan and hummus on the side with some olives or something, or maybe some vegetables. I'm not really sure yet where I'm going with this, but I'm going to get these in the oven. Oven's preheated to 425. I like the Gardein plant-based burgers. I don't like that there's only two in a pack, but it's completely no soy, um, and it's pea protein. And the ingredients are minimal, and I know what they are, so that's nice, too. Um, there is something in here. Oh, the coconut oil, but I mean, what are you going to do? So I'm going to put this in, and then we have the Omaha Steaks um, burgers that my dad got us. Shout out to you, Dad. And... Um, some cheese to go with that. And then I'm gonna make some Thousand Island or like Big Mac sauce uh, over here. I'll show you how I put everything together. I always cook my burgers first so the meat burger doesn't get on it. Um, it has that beetroot powder in it to like have it look bloody or whatever, which is fine, I guess. Um, but I just sprayed the pan with some avocado oil and that is going to cook on each side for seven minutes if frozen. All right. So I have that homemade mayo here. That burger is going, I'm going to put some ketchup in there and then, ow, <laughs> that just pinched me. Um, I'm going to do some pickles, just chopped pickles and you can go a lot of ways with this, but I like to keep it pretty simple. I'm gonna do some seasonings, just some onion powder and salt and pepper, and that is my sauce. You could do um, you could do horseradish in this. You could do onion. You could do uh, what was the other thing? Regular. Um, what am I trying to say? I've seen it done with just regular cucumbers and not pickles. Uh, but yeah, this is what we're going to have and we are going to do some toppings here as well. All 
right, and here is the table layout. I just have to get everyone some water and forks, but I just did a little, I don't know, buffet style of things. I have the condiments over here. I have one eager to eat, the other one not coming. <laughs> um, that's okay though. And then I have my plate with the Gardein burger, my husband's plate with the regular burgers, and the kids have like a deconstructed version of it, and they have some more grapes. They really liked those, so. Yeah, this is what we are gonna snack on. Well, not snack on, this is our dinner. And I'll meet up with you later because I like to snack and I'll show you some of my favorite nighttime snacks that are semi -hot. Okay, I did want to touch on the snacks that I like to have. We have the Louisville vegan jerky. This is pricey, but if you can get it on sale, it's worth it because you're not going to eat the whole thing. I mean, maybe you will, but I don't. I eat maybe three or four pieces and it's super delicious. I grew up on venison I jerky. You're going to eat delicious? Okay. Yeah. Um, I grew up on venison jerky whenever um, anyone in the family got a deer. We turned it into bologna and jerky and all the things but this is really tasty and they have really great flavors so I encourage you to try that out and then skinny pop I love popcorn I don't actually give it to the kids um I, I heard mm, I don't think you've ever had it uh you can do your research on that but they say to wait until they're five um I like the sea salt and then skinny pop also has a white cheddar that's actually vegan and it's really tasty it's like a I don't know a vegan Form. I don't think it's nutritional yeast that's in it, but it's really tasty. Um, I tend to go for the regular kind though, just in case I want to put something on it. Um, sometimes I put peanut butter powder and dark chocolate on it. Sometimes I leave it as is. There are times that you can put just like extra vegan butter, salt and pepper if you want to be a little, I don't know, a little extra. And then fruit. Fruit I always snack on. I really love apples, especially Macintosh apples. Berries are really good. Um, I do snack on celery. I love celery and peanut butter, um, carrots, snap peas. That those things I, I really do enjoy. I know some people are. It's hard to switch your bag of potato chips for things like that, but I've never found it hard because I was already snacking on the veggies. If that makes sense. Um, and then dark chocolate. Dark chocolate's a big one for I me. Dark yeah. Um, we really love this brand, and you can find it at Whole Foods. They're usually like two for four or something. But this one, yeah, good to go. It says may contain may contain traces of milk, but it's just because um, it's produced in the same facility. But this is yeah, this is made in Boulder, Colorado. So these are really delicious, and we're supporting local. So yeah. That is my uh, vegan snack lineup, my go-tos. Of course, I try other things every now and again, but this is what I like to snack on. And I did wanna go over some of my supplements with you, because I know a lot of you in the new year like to look into that kind of thing. If you aren't taking any supplements, definitely look into that. Um, find a doctor, don't just rely on me, but I mean, <laughs> there are many benefits. Um, even if you are having a good diet, there are a lot of benefits to different supplements and um, what you could be lacking from the standard American diet. Just like the vegan diet, there are many different ways um, that you are not meeting your nutritional needs um, depending on your lifestyle and how you are. So. So this is my current lineup and what I was trying to say is like it really depends on your lifestyle and how you are essentially. If you're active, what you eat, um, when you eat, uh, your past uh, history, you could have some genetic things that come into this. But currently right now, this is my lineup. So I take vegan omega-3s with DHA and DPA. I have D3, zinc, B12, and then I also take a vegan algae, and that's like my um, kind of like a vegan fish oil, if that makes sense, but I take that as well. And then I also take iodine, but I um, 
need a new one so I don't have it um, I don't even have the empty bottle to show you but those are the things that I take right now many of you asked um, because I am anemic why don't you take an iron supplement um, I actually don't take an iron supplement I have found that it doesn't really help me it, if anything it makes me feel not my best self so right now I don't take that I just try and eat iron rich foods um, I have a vegan nutritionist and dietitian that helps me with that. So yeah, this is what my current lineup is. I know a lot of you have asked. And then at night, I either have a glass of wine, I have kombucha, something fizzy, if that makes sense. Sometimes I have the limoncello, la, la croix, la croix, whatever you say. I know there's been an article recently published about things like this. Um, and what it contains but I mean the amount of whatever it is in this aluminum can just really um if you dig deeper into that article um it doesn't make a difference to be honest with you so every now and again I like to give myself some limoncellos because they're really tasty they taste like a vanilla like lemon flavor it's good if you want to put it in a spritzer but yeah that is it those are my supplements and my sweet little treats and that is going to do it for today's what I eat in a day or meals of the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you did in the comments down below. I would love to do more. We are going on a mountain drive and we are going to watch the sunset here. I'm going to leave you with the words of Grace Slick. But for me, it's not about all what I put in my body. It's about what I put in my mind. So feed your head. As always, stay adventurous, stay creative, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone.